In the previous lecture, we understand how to install WordPress in the local system. But now, let's see how to use it. So you can consider this dashboard to be a control panel of your website because it offers several quick links and areas that provide information about your site. So as you can see here on the dashboard, welcome to the WordPress and here you can get the customize button of your site. By clicking on this button, this will open the customizer of your WordPress where you can edit your active WordPress theme. Additionally, this button provides a link that takes you to the theme page where you can change your active theme. Just after that, at the center you have a next step. And in this next step, you can see we have different links. So this section provides a link to various areas within the WordPress. So if you click on this first link, this will navigate you to the blog post where you can create your first blog post. Using the second link, you can create your about us page. And the third link will help you to set up your home page of your website. And the last, by clicking on this view your site, you can actually see your site. And on the right side, we have a more actions. So this section contains a few links that help you to manage your site, including a link to manage your widgets and menu. By clicking on these areas, you can manage the widgets and the menu. You can turn off and turn on the comments. And you can, if you want, you can dismiss this panel. You can remove this panel from this dashboard by clicking on this dismiss button. But I'm not recommended because it's very easy to navigate to the different section by using this panel. So leave it as it is. Just after that, you can see we have at a glance section. Now this model of dashboard shows what's going on in your website right now. So as you can see here, I have one post in my website, one page and one comment. This is by default you will get when you set up your WordPress. You can see the number of posts we have, number of pages we have and number of comments we have. So these numbers reflect the total number of the post. Using these numbers, you will understand how many pages, how many comments and how many posts you have on your WordPress site. Just after that, down here you can see a WordPress 5.3 running this 2020 theme. So this section shows which WordPress theme you are using and a WordPress version. So as you can see, we have a 2020 theme activated by default. By clicking on this link, this will navigate to your manage theme and you can change your theme by using this link. I'm going just back to my dashboard. And now as you can see, we also see our search engine discourage. When we install this site, we just specify that I don't want to index this site. You can change this setting by clicking on this link as well. It doesn't return on stone. You can change it by clicking on this link. Now just after that, just after this at a glance section, we have here activity section. And this is where you can see the recently published post. The WordPress will display a maximum of five of the most recently published posts in this area. You can also see a comment here. The WordPress will display the maximum of five of the most recent comment in this section. So you will get five recent posts and the five recent comments. Now just out of that, on the right side, right here, you can see a quick draft. And this section is very handy. It is a handy form that allows you to write and save posts from your WordPress dashboard. It is very helpful when something going on in your mind and you can quickly put that in the draft. Just out of that, down here, you can see a WordPress event and news. So this module gives you detail about your WordPress event and areas. Using this section, you can get the closest event of WordPress of your city. Once you know the dashboard, let's move on to the dashboard navigation menu. In this navigation menu, you have different links. And in these links, you can find a very important link, which is a setting. And when you hover on the setting, you have different sub menus. We have general, writing, reading, discussion, media, permalinks, and privacy. So let's discover these all options one by one. So let's start with the general. So let's click on it and just open the general settings. Now when you open the general setting, you can see we have a site title, the tagline, the WordPress address, and we have different customizable settings. After you install the WordPress software and log in, you can put a personal stamp on your site by giving it a title and a description. You can set your email address and identifying yourself as the author of your site. You can do all these things in this section. Now when we started installing the WordPress, you know that we just specify this name to this WordPress site. If you want, you can change it from here as well. And you can just change your email address and you can change this address of your URL and you can change also the time zone. So you can change these different settings from this general option. Now let's move on and see what we have inside this writing. So let's click on it and just open this writing setting. Now in this writing setting, you have a default post category. Now the default post category is uncategorized. 
when you publish your first post, it will automatically take this uncategorized category by default. If you want, you can change this category from this setting as well. But right now, I only have this one category, so I'm going to leave it as it is. You can also see a default post format. So actually, this writing setting gives you some information about choosing how your content looks and how WordPress handles some specific conditions. So in this section, you can see your post files email and the login name and the password. Just for that, in this setting, we have a third setting, which is reading. So let's click on it and just open this reading setting. Now the third option in the setting is reading. And in this setting, you can set your home page display. So as you can see here, your home page display is your latest post. You can change it as well by clicking on this static page and specifying your custom home page. You just need to click on this button and specify your custom home page. Then you can see we have a blocked pages show at most. Using this option, you can specify how much post you want to display on a single page of your WordPress theme. At this point, the default is 10. It means I want to display 10 posts on my single page. At the last, you can see a search engine visibility. When we started installing the WordPress, we know we just click on this checkbox because we don't want to index this site. When you complete your site, you can uncheck this checkbox and save the changes to index your site. You can also notice here we have a for each post in the field include full text. So when you publish your content, it will display full content of your post. You can just change this setting by clicking on this summary as well. And you can also notice here the syndication field show the most recent post. So we'll get the recent post at the top. Just after that, let's move on and see the next setting, which is discussion. The fourth item from the setting menu. So I'm going to just click on this discussion and let's see what we have inside this setting. Now the fourth item in the setting menu is discussion and in this discussion setting you can get different kind of settings. So from this setting you can set options for handling comments and publishing posts to your site. You can take a look at these settings in your spare time and when you scroll down you can see we have a very important setting which is avatar. So from here you can upload your site logo. You can just specify your identity of your website using this avatar. If you want you can disable this avatar by clicking on this checkbox but I'm gonna leave it as it is as default just after that the fifth item from the setting is media so I'm gonna just click on it and open the media setting now from this media setting you can configure the options for how your image files resize for use in your site and here you can specify different height and width to your image so in this setting you can see we have image sizes and the thumbnail size is 150 by 150 and the medium size is 300 by 300 and the large size of the image is 1024. If you want, you can change these settings as well. Now the next sub menu of setting is permalinks. So I'm going to just click on it and let's see what we have inside this permalink setting. Now this setting is very crucial part of your website. Using this setting, you can specify how would your URL should look like. Now each WordPress post is assigned its own page and the address of that page is called a permalink. So as you can see, we just specify an address to this page, this one. So this address is called permalink. In this link, you can see we have a permalink to this post, the day and the name. WordPress allows us to change this permalink depending on your own requirement. And using these settings, you can specify your own custom URL to the WordPress post. Don't worry, WordPress create a permalink automatically when you publish a new post. Use the settings to change the permalink of your site. By default, WordPress will active day and name for the post. If you want, you can change the setting depending on your use. But for now, let's understand what is plain permalink. Now, if we take a look at this URL, you can see here we have HTTP localhost WordPress. So this is the address of this WordPress blog. And just out of that, you can see here we have a P equal to one, two, three. So this P stands for post and the one, two, three is the ID assigned to the individual post. You can choose this setting if you want. But for now, I'm gonna leave it as it is. When we build the WordPress theme, I will show you how you can change and choose the correct format for your WordPress blog. So I'm gonna leave the setting as it is and move on to the next item in the setting menu, which is privacy. So I'm gonna just click on it and open the privacy setting. Now in this privacy setting, you have a text here. So let me just explain what we have inside this setting. On May 25, 2018, the European Union enacted a law, the General Data Protection Regulation, or you can call it GDRP for short. The GDRP 
is a set of rules designed to give European citizens more control of their personal data that store on website they browse on the internet. The part of this law requires you to publish a privacy page on your website that lays out your privacy policy. So when you create your WordPress blog or a website and index it on a search engine, you need to create a privacy policy page before indexing it. Don't worry, when we host this website, I'm going to show you how to create this privacy policy page and how to publish your website on the internet. And as you can see, we just learn what we have inside these settings. In the next lecture, we will take a look at these different settings in this menu. So I will see you in the next one.